Hey everybody, uh, Doc G's Reloading here. Just a quick video here on some things that I found reloading uh, range brass. Um, and a little uh, modification I made to my uh, primer rod. Uh, let's start off with the cases here real quick. This one is called a, uh, if you guys can read that, it says, um, nine millimeter Luger on it. Uh, but it also says, uh, Maxis MA X. So these kind of cases have a little ridge in them, which is kind of interesting. I didn't notice this until I got to the powder check stage where, uh, the powder check alarm was going off. And I checked the case and found a ridge inside of it. So again, anything with this kind of lettering there, it says, yeah, there it is, M-A-X-X, -X, Max Tech. Anything with that on it, uh, be careful. Uh, I got the primer in and everything, but again, I'm not gonna use this case because the bullet wouldn't seep deep enough into it because I'm using 147 grain bullets. So anyway, there's one of those cases. Um, the other thing is these cases here, these Federals, uh, two-piece ones, you know, they, they might look fun and, and neat. And you may say, oh my gosh, look at this. This is a great, uh, I think it's a federal, yeah. Um, you know, it, but the problem is this bottom piece doesn't resize in your die and could get stuck if your die is down really far. Like my die is down as far as it can possibly go without actually restricting the range of motion of the ram because I want to size the entire case and not have any bulge at the bottom. And, and I know when these go through my machine because they stick and I have to actually um, lift up on the handle quite hard to get the press to come back down. And this bottom doesn't resize very well and the primers fall out. So these are just not worth taking the time to, re to uh, do. I've taken all these out. I picked up a bunch of them, probably a thousand of them I picked up over the last two years, and I'm, as I go through my cases now, before I load them in the machine, load them in my case feeder, I just get rid of them. Uh, not worth it uh, for me. I mean, if you guys are short on brass and have to, fine. The other ones are these. These say uh, WCC on them. Some will say WMA on them, uh, but there's no real marking that this is a nine millimeter Luger. It is a nine millimeter Luger, but look at that primer. See how that primer got mushed in there? And, um, this is, these are the cases that I've had primer detonations on. I've had two of them in the past 10,000 rounds. And both of them were this style of case. Now, I've even taken this case out, uh, and I have a small uh, primer pocket reamer, and I've reamed out the primer pocket and put it back in, uh, which is a lot of work for a 9mm. I mean, it's not, again, not worth it. Uh, so... Uh, and then I, and it still wouldn't seat, the primer still wouldn't seat in there, even after reaming it out. So I, I, I just wouldn't say that if you pick up cases with WCC04 or WMA or some kind of obscure marking that doesn't actually say 9mm Luger, just be very careful with them. I don't know that you have to throw them out, but just be careful with them because I, always on these cases when I'm priming in the priming phase and I'm pushing forward, all of a sudden, the the ram stops moving like, like a rock, and I go, uh-oh. So then I pull it out, and the primer is halfway seated, uh, kind of like this one. And then it just mushes out and will detonate on you if you're not careful. So watch out for these primers. I'm sorry, these cases. Watch out for these cases because the primers, and these are federal gold medal match premium primers. So um, I don't know if there's a, a different primer that might work in them. But I'm just saying, be careful, watch out for them. Uh, and then I was having some trouble with my primers uh, filling. So I added some weight to the primer rod. So if you take a 50 BMG case and you have the primer rod from Unique Tech, um, all you have to do is <clears throat> take one out that you haven't resized the neck on and just tap it on with a hammer and it fits right over the knurling nice and tight. And then I just put a, a golf club weight on the back, 14 gram golf club weight in, in the bottom of it, just to make sure I had enough weight on there. Uh, and then it just goes, you know, 
into the machine like you normally would now when it's when it's up here in it's little holding place it sticks up a little bit but it's not that bad i mean it's you're only putting it there for a couple seconds anyway but then i just put it in uh, my primer uh, filler there like that and then that gives me plenty of weight to keep on top of the primers because i was having some primers not feeding so um i go to the priming push forward on the ram and it went up super easy and I said, uh oh, something's wrong. So I checked and uh, there was no primer that had been fed. So, and again, these are federal gold medal match premium primers. I, I don't know if they get any better than that, but uh, just a little, little thing I made there. Okay, so nothing fancy on this video. Um, just kind of recapping uh, some new things that I've seen and troubles that I've come up with uh, in reloading. Again, watch out for those cases. Uh, and in the description here, I'm going to type in their names uh, that I've seen that I see in the bottom of the case, so that you know to be careful. All right, thanks again, everybody, for watching Doc G's Reloading.